There's hopeful news out of Israel. Hamas has released two American hostages. They were among more than 200 people abducted nearly two weeks ago when Hamas attacked Israel. President Joe Biden says that the U.S. is working to secure the release of those still being held. Tina Krauss has the latest from Tel Aviv. The Israeli Prime Minister's office confirms Hamas has released two U.S. hostages, a mother and daughter held for nearly two weeks, Judith Tai and Natalie Shoshana Ra'anan. Hamas says it let them go for humanitarian reasons. Israeli families of many of the remaining hostages gathered Friday at a massive Shabbat table set with 203 empty seats. We're trying to send them all the blessing and the strength that they need. I hope they will hear us and feel us as we feel them every day. And we believe in them that they are strong and they can make it. In Gaza City, residents are mourning victims of an Israeli airstrike that damaged part of a church where Christians and Muslims were taking refuge. Palestinian health officials say more than a dozen were killed. Israel's military says it was targeting a militant command center. Nobody is safe in Gaza, regardless of religion, regardless of your involvement in anything. Nobody is safe. Civilians in Gaza are struggling. Israel has cut off food, fuel, water and medicine. The UN Secretary General visited the crossing from Egypt into Gaza Friday morning, pleading for humanitarian aid to be allowed through as soon as possible. It's absolutely essential to protect civilians and it's absolutely essential to make humanitarian aid come to the Palestinians in it. President Biden says he's confident the aid will get in soon. I believe that within the next 24 to 48 hours, the first 20 trucks will come across with aid. As the civilian death toll mounts, all sides are watching what the next hours and days will bring. Tina Krause, CBS News, Tel Aviv. The Palestinian Health Ministry says more than 4,100 Palestinians, including hundreds of children, have been killed in Gaza with another 13,000 wounded. Israel says 1,400 of its citizens have died since the Hamas terror group attacked it on October 7th. Tonight at 9, CBS has a very special look at the Israel-Hamas war. It will feature the latest on-the-ground reporting plus analysis of the military, diplomatic and humanitarian efforts. And you can watch it tonight at 9 on WCCO, also streaming on CBS News Minnesota.